Welcome back to Brittany's Brew Review, a beer review show brought to you by your homies at the Quick Sixer Collective. The show usually posts on the 6th of every month. So if you like what you hear, check out the link in our bio to subscribe to your favorite platforms. We are your hosts, Brittany Fernandez, Pat Artis. B, what are we reviewing this month? This is going to be <laughs> Memphis Made Fruit Snacks. Hard seltzer. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And it is. Show it. I'll, I'll show it a little bit. Lime flavored. Yeah, you have a much better lighting situation than me. You're gonna it's... you're gonna help me get my life together over here. Yeah. Uh. Lime... Yeah. So just lime. Yeah. I like that their barcode is the Memphis Bridge. That's pretty. Oh, cool. that's really cool. That's fun. I like that. Uh, yeah. Ninety calories. What's the percentage on this? Four percent. So yeah, four percent. Pretty easy. Their website says, "Who wants some fruit snacks with refreshing lime flavor and only ninety calories?" Our hard seltzer is a way is a light way to make it through a hot Memphis summer, and it's gluten free. Says yeah, and this is not seasonally appropriate, but it's no, fine. no, no, no. <laughs> the next it's one fine. is. Oh, did I ru- I ruined it? Uh, but uh. <laughs> We'll see. Nah, nah. No. Uh, so if you were to pick any fruit snacks that you want this to taste like, like actual fruit snacks, what's your like go-to fruit snack? Like the top tier fruit snack. Top tier? Oh mm-hmm. shit. I'm I'm gonna let you in on something. I was a big fruit snack kid, so mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I had to lose some weight at some point. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I don't like that crack. It smells like lime. But Holy if I'm going to go with anything Oof. from oh no. my I'm childhood, not this well. we're going to either go Gushers okay, or oh. the Scooby-Doo fruit snack. I was hoping you were going to say Scooby-Doo because that's my, that's my uh, choice. That that top. white one, that white one, you the the mystery flavor. This is and then he the Scooby Doo one's blue, right? Yeah, like the blue. The flavor. mystery flavor was for sure like white grape or something. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this has a much more yellow tint than it actually does in real life. But obviously, it's a seltzer. It's going to be clear. Yeah. But it smells like uh, it smells like straight up Just alcohol. Huffed it. <laughs> It like, does smell like it smells like a good. <clears throat> it does smell like boozy, huh? For a four yeah. percent thing, it's kind of mm-hmm. weird. Canned on seven five twenty two, so yeah, that would have been appropriate to drink it then. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the homies, Drew and Andy at Memphis Made. Um. Obviously, beer provided by Memphis Made on this show. Um. And we really, really appreciate it. But yeah, they they hooked this one up on 901 Day when we were down there. So thanks again, Drew. Um, he was running his ass off, literally, like literally sweating his ass off, like dying, trying to sh- throw this event. And he made some time to give us some beers and That's a awesome. seltzer. So cheers to you guys. This, you know what? I'm not a big fan of seltzers. That's why I wanted to do. Um, this actually, this is the first actually for Quick Sixer too. First seltzer. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I do think. enjoy a White Claw every now and then. That's probably the, the like the best seltzer that there is. They're just easy. They're crushable. <clears throat> I could fuck this shit up. Like, it's very much just water to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, like, I could drink this way too fast. That's what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> And um, it's like, it's very subtle. Like, some seltzers have that super sugary taste to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or like syrup, sugar. That artificial flavor on it. Yeah. This thing says, ingredients, water, sugar, pure key lime extract, citric acid, carbon dioxide. Hmm. Making all sorts of noises over here. I love it. 
and 90 I was about to say 90 degrees <laughs> 90 calories fruit snack you know what I I'm okay with this oh yeah I was kind of you know I was talking shit for a minute <laughs> I've told everybody that's ever given us any kind of free or any free. any kind of product like we're gonna review it how we review it like I'm sorry if it's bad it's- it tastes better than it smells. I agree. But like, all right, to be completely fair, like we have roasted some shit, like roasted some people's beers on this show. And this is not going to be one of them. No, I mean, I'm OK with it. I, I really am. Absolutely doable. I, I also don't ever drink seltzers out of a glass. Yeah. So it's a little different for me, but. Me too. It's uh-huh. always out of the can. Yeah, I just don't ever see the need to like pour it in there. I don't know if it adds to the experience like regular <clears throat> beer does. Right? It reminds me almost of like a like a vodka drink almost. Yeah. You know? Or like a gin and tonic. Oh, that's a yeah, good comparison. I don't know if it tastes like fruit snacks. Hey, you know what? Maybe. Maybe a little bit at the end. There's like a... I bet you if it warms up, it would be. Oh, but I'm not that. not doing that. No. I bet you when it's like <laughs> cooking or, or when it's they're making it. Okay, yeah. Probably. probably at there, yeah. Like the end, though, there is a little bit of like kind of fruity, juicier flavor. I don't know. I think it right as it hits your, your tongue, it's like tastes like a, a fruit snack you pack in a lunch for school. Oh. The Welches, <clears throat> Welches are good. Ooh, I fuck with Welches. Mm-hmm. We're talking so Scooby Doo's. Yeah, uh, to be fair, I am a huge Scooby Doo fan. Oh, like old Scooby Doo. Um, Scooby Doo rules. Scooby Doo does rule. Also, shout out to Velma. Uh, officially came out lesbian. Hey. Yeah, good. Good for you. <laughs> finally, good. I'm so proud. Um, that happened, I think, today or yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> when the new movie, because there's a new movie, yeah. uh, Scooby Doo Trick or Treat or something. Yeah. And then the movie, she's she's gay, and it's like, well, yeah, didn't we all Duh. know that? She's also a bad bitch. Like, who can, you know? <laughs> who cares? Um, no, big Scooby Doo fan, but big fan of like the hand drawn Scooby Doo. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Also, when I used to, when I'm, I don't know how I grew out of it, but for a long time, like my laugh. If I laughed like hard enough or something was silly enough, my laugh was very similar to a Scooby Doo laugh. <laughs> and it was pretty great. And I, I could probably do it, but no. Nah. You know, the great thing about Scooby Doo is that it sticks to its formula. Really does. It doesn't, it, you know what's going to happen at the end of everything. Except for that Scooby, those two Scooby Doo movies, I was like, "Holy shit, what is this?" Did you see Scoob? No, I didn't. I okay, should. I it's not something that I would watch regularly or like go to a movie to see because, like, I'm with you. Old Scooby Doo cartoons is probably like where it's I'm peak. at. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I was on a plane once, and you know, Southwest does like the free movies sometimes if you download the app or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I had my laptop and I was doing that. And I was like, oh, it's the Scoob movie. And there was like a little kid sitting next to me. So like I just, you know, had my laptop up and we were watching the movie together. Some random little girl. Super cute. But in the beginning of the movie, I swear to God, it was when Scooby and Shaggy met for the first time. Tears. Fucking like bubbling <laughs> idiot. Like on this plane what next if... to this little girl that's like, oh, what? Well, she, she didn't get it. <laughs> She didn't get it. Oh, God. But I was like, I was having a very hard time, like getting my Jesus keeping my shit together. <laughs> oh, oh my God! So it was like you know the story of when Scooby and Shaggy met, and Scooby was like a a stray or something, and Shaggy mm-hmm. didn't have any friends, and I was like, Oh God! Like, oh. <laughs> oh my, you're making me cry. Fuck. <laughs> You know I'm a little wimp about this shit. Come on. I, can't I was it. yeah, I was <clears throat> so just be aware. Um, I, I won't watch it now. Yeah. I'm trying to ball my eyes out. Heads up. 
<laughs> and you know, with the airport and like airplanes always make me like 10 times more emotional than I am. It like heightens my like, okay. I think it heightens my anxiety. So it heightens like all of my emotions too. It checks out. Speaking of sweet ass things. I don't know if you're watching the video version. Do you look right there? I see a bug pillow. Right here. Oh, is that Binks? That's Oscar. That's Oscar. Oscar. He's asleep, bro. Anyway. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. We hang. We hang sometimes when uh, I come in here and play some games. Mm. You're you done? It. I'm almost done. Drink the water. Go ahead. Than Let's I do this. Let's do this. You want me to Come try this? Seltzer? I do. Oh my God. Get it, B. Get it, B. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <clears throat> I know it's tough. It's not you as like car- swallowing right now. I do. It's pretty loud. I'm about to burp. <laughs> it's it's uh... not. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Actually, not sorry. We're just asking her to chug a seltzer. Fuck it. Oh, it's spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> He's like a, a McDonald's Sprite. Oh, okay. Okay. You the carbonate. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Spicy. Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? All right. Get it. Let's. Yep. All right. We said Brittany's brew review. So, keeping on theme, keep it in the M. We're bringing it. We're going to have to take a cat nap. Okay. We're just going right through it. Okay. We're just going in. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even like a uh, start and stop situation. Yeah. I don't think there's a, there's a need to, re- to properly throw a number on that. You know, it's a seltzer. But if I was going to. I'd probably put, uh, you know, being not a fan of seltzers, probably three five out of five. I don't know. Three five. Mm. All other seltzers get a two and below for me. All right. I would still rather chug a white claw, but it was good. <laughs> so cat nap. This is also a Memphis made beer. This is one of their year round offerings at a six point two. It's a IPA. It is awesome. Um, and it says on their website, when you go face down into this uh, India pale ale, the hop aroma is so calming it will knock you out. Generous amounts of Eureka hops will have you licking lips for more with notes of mango, pineapple, and peach. Oh, I like those flavors together. Yeah. I also love how the can just says, oh, you can't see it on my stupid screen, but it just says, Fun. <laughs> oh, here, here we go. This is fun. <laughs> fun. And I agree. You agree? I agree. Fun. fun. I disagree. Gonna... The Memphis made folks are dope, actually. You know, I don't have another clean glass. Just pour it in this is what I'm gonna do. All right. I mean, whatever. We're just doing this all sorts of fucky, huh? Oh, it's a bad pour. You know, for oh, okay. for spooky season, for a Britney but spooky <laughs> season, we have to do a, a twofer, you know? That's true. You know, we have to go in when it's spooky season. Your the... color is probably more accurate than my color, I imagine. Yours Maybe. is like it's very amber. Yeah. Um, yeah. I this is it's showing up lighter on the screen, but it's like ooh, a darker. Yeah, I don't know. When you put it over in the corner, yeah, it's it's probably lighter than mine. Yeah, but you're you got like a harder light than I do on. I have not had this yet, but you have. Mm hmm. Oh. Go check out my untapped for my score because I probably scored this thing like three, four, or five years ago. That's really good. It's a solid IPA. So, catnap. The reason I pointed out Oscar, catnap. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm so cute. Yeah, we're you know we're a tag team in this episode, me and him and you. 
Um, mm. Yeah, catnap. It's it's solid. It's one of those ones where like their main their main brewers or their main brews throughout the year are catnap fireside, which is a I don't know best way to describe it. It's almost like a I don't know. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm reading off their website right now, but it's almost like a a red ale. I'd say like an, it's like an ale. So this is kind of one of their staples. Then this is their staple. There like is this, this is their staple. Okay, this is their thing. Like the, if you're gonna if you're gonna find this, this is probably the most common of their beers you're gonna find. All right. Yeah, which That's a really good one. Yeah, speaking of just in general. Uh, Memphis made eventually. I uh, hear they're coming to Nashville, so really? we're gonna be uh, gonna be available here pretty soon. Oh, yeah! So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> but if you're in the Memphis area, go and check them out. They have two locations, um, but their main one is on right now is seven sixty eight South Cooper Street, uh, Memphis ten three eight one zero four. And uh, or check out their website, just memphismadebrewing.com because they're dope. And also, you know, shout out to the homies for providing said yeah. beverage. It's, I mean, it's 6.4 percent, mm. too, so 6.2 percent. Mm-hmm. So it's like a little bit, you know, it's not anything too crazy, but it'll get the job done. Exactly. Yeah, we're not we're not touching those sevens or eights or beyond get, you know it's when you get dangerous I, my uh my fridge right now is very dangerous i <clears throat> my so i told you i had to buy a new fridge for the patio yeah because i was starting to run out of room mm-hmm. and my you know kitchen fridge so i have a beer fridge out in the pet out in the screened in patio and that's already full and Mm-hmm. I'm glad that we're doing two because then it will make more room. A little small dent, you know. Mm-hmm. A little yeah. tiny dent, but you know, something. Yeah, that's that's you know before we get even even more sponsors for the shows, <laughs> you have to start getting a, a beer box like me, or you just put it to the side. I'm thinking I should probably do that. That's what you do. You just have a beer box and you put ones in the fridge that you like mm-hmm. for the week or whatever. Well, these particular, so the reason I asked you when you were away uh, for what beers you wanted to do is because I pull whatever I'm going to have for the shows yeah. out of the box. Fair. And if if I'm not allowed to drink it, it's not in the fridge. So <laughs> I don't keep it if I'm not going to drink it warm. So I keep it in the box, in the dark, in the in the closet. Is that okay? Like, it's it's you know it's okay for me now. Whatever you know, it won't go too long without getting drank. So I feel like it's probably okay. Right. See, I feel like you, since you have more like shows or whatever for quick six, I feel like you're drinking them more than I am because I'm drinking yeah. them when we're drinking them for the most part mm. because there's a lot of beer in my fridge. I'm saving for <laughs> either for doing it for quick six or doing it for sobros. So mm-hmm. it's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that I don't want not refrigerated because I yeah. also don't know how that works and if I should be I don't know. I think I think you're fine. But keeping them cold is always good, you know. My ideal situation would be to have one of those those clear motherfuckers they have at like a brewery. Oh where you yeah, like, like a... where you're gonna pull something <laughs> like the giant motherfucker, the giant freezer. Yeah, it just that's what I want. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I think it was also a reason to buy a cute little uh, mint green vintage fridge from the patio. I was like, oh, I need mm-hmm. one of these for my beer. For your beer. <laughs> Speaking of your beer, um, when we do come over and do your lights, I think we might have to do a Britney's brew review from the porch. <gasps> yeah, but we gotta do that. Oh man, that'd okay, be pretty cool. Well, I need to get them like pretty soon then. Yeah, then it'll be cold. Yeah, because your boy goes out of town too pretty soon. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But that's a great idea, actually. 
We haven't done one of these in person. It's kind of weird. It is weird. Yeah, because we don't live far. <laughs> no, not at all. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like um, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And you, you know, it's funny. Um, You were talking about how all the beer that you have. Out of the whole team, you got the most. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like Adam got some. Drew got some. Uh, Connor didn't need any. Well, it's also that I'm just the most convenient. That's definitely what it is. I'm like, hey, and also if I go to the beer store and I get like a, a variety pack, it's usually on the weekend. So I usually just swing by your store at, on the way back. And I'm like, hey, here's check, check these I out. I, I love it. I love it. And <clears> you are not the only person that brings beer out of the store sometimes. So mm. <laughs> who knows? Like by the end of the weekend, like I don't know what I'm going to have. And it's that's great. Mm. I love it. Love that. Speaking of loving things, reading this cat nap. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I will. It's a little hard for me to drink right now, not because I don't love it, because I do, but I drank that seltzer so fast. Your stomach is too full. <laughs> well, I also just had like a, a small popcorn at the movie theater, like by myself. So what? <laughs> What'd you go see? Spirit Halloween. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I also take bunch of crunch and I put it in my popcorn. So it's like a sweet and salty mm. thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. With, with a diet Pepsi. A diet Pepsi. Whoa. Mm -hmm. the fucking curveball at the end of there. <laughs> diet Pepsi. Holy shit. Well, what theater now, are you going to? Regal. They have diet Pepsi there? Mm hmm. There are Pepsi products there. And I would prefer. To have a cherry coke at the movie theater that's the that's the way to go but regal does not offer coke or cherry coke products or even a, a cherry pepsi mm. i would prefer you know i would be into that cherry but Pepsi's i think good. maybe carmike is the is the uh coke theater because i used to get cherry coke at the theater all the time i don't know what, what happened which theater was this where, where were we at uh we went to opera mills so it's a regal Oh. Huh. What about that one in Mount Juliet? Oh, that's probably pretty far for you. It's not far, but Mount Juliet or Opry is so close. It's literally mm. like I don't know, twelve that makes minutes sense. from us yeah. or something like that. So Yeah. It's it's the easiest theater for us to go to, but we've we've been to the one in Mount Juliet a bunch. We usually mm. go to Opry, the one in Mount Juliet. Um or the uh, Thompson Lane one with all the lights. <laughs> mm. The Hollywood, Regal Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. <clears throat> um, I want to tell you something that's going to be kind of exciting. Um, that I can tell you on air. So okay. after I check this in, I'll be at 993. Holy shit. We're very close. You're checking catnap in? Nah. Well, let's. I'm pretty so sure. I've, you pretty did sure I've one? done chat catnap. I want to check in the fruit snacks though. Okay. You're so close. Well, that's the thing is like I want to do something kind of cool for the thousand, but I don't know. That's what I was gonna say. Like maybe, like you go live or we go live or I don't know. What's what's the coolest thing we could do? Yeah, I've checked this shit in four times. Um, four um, times. Yeah. Does um, though do that? Does that count? No, just that only counts once. Just once. It, it'll okay. count towards you like total check-ins, but not your total. Or it'll yeah, your total check-ins, but not your beer count. So, <clears throat> yeah, I want to do it because I think I I'm like kind of holding back right now. Like I yeah, could do you it. Could do it in yeah. the next couple days. <laughs> easily <laughs> i can do but, it currently with the shit that's in my closet are you going to do it and then not record it like not like count it in untapped I or I think, no i think i want to get something like cool like, like, some, like, like one of those legit. like like a bottle thing or something like that i, I have know. a keg I, mean, I, I <laughs> what 
Oh, okay. I How much mini- beer do you have? I have a mini keg oh. of Oktoberfest beer that I got at Mount Julia Beer Company. The, the tie dye thing? The Oberon one? Maybe it is. I'll send you a picture of it. Mm-hmm. But I bought it for for one occasion and then I forgot about it. <laughs> and then I was going to bring it for a second occasion and then I forgot about it. Love it. <laughs> so uh, we need to figure something out so I can have someone help me drink this fucking mini keg. Of Dude, bring, bring, bring it to Kenny's barn thing. Oh yeah, I could do that. Just Perfect. me and a fucking mini keg. <laughs> it's so weird. It'd be great. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to be all okay, right, so everybody knows. Uh, you know, our buddy Kenny uh from Anyone Can Die is having this like barn party pretty soon. And me and B are gonna go, but it's I've never been to a fucking barn party before. I was really confused at why you were confused about or what no, not barn, a, farm, a farm party. Farm party. A fa- he said a fall festival, pretty much. Yeah, but That's like what, he called what? It, right? He like who just is like, oh yeah, I have this uh, my own fall festival. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? This is not a normal occasion, my dude. I think, I, I think, I, it, I think if you're in Tennessee, it is a normal occasion. Uh, I mean, I'm sure. I, I mean, I talked to him. I talked to him the other day, maybe yesterday, Monday, for like 40 minutes about this thing. Like, no shit, 40 fucking minutes. And uh, Love it. I'm not just about that, but I I inherited a whole bunch of a uh, of a certain beer, and oh, okay. I, I don't want to talk about. You were going to say VHS tapes, and I no, was like, No, no, I would give those to you guys. <laughs> um, I inherited a whole bunch of this random pilsner, and from work, and I'm like, dude, I'm not going to drink all this shit, like. It's I have I had like twenty five or something of this oh, one no. yeah I'm, of the one beer I'm like this is not of uh, one beer yeah of one kind oh I'm just like oh god like it's good but like god damn you know like come on yeah that's and that's Kenny's lot. shit too so I'm like hey dude oh. so I called him to like come over and drink some of it with me someday. He's like, yeah, hey, I'm super down. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, tell me about this fucking farm party. And he told me about it. It's, I think it's way bigger than me and you think it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like an event. So. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. He, mentioned he said he's got. Yeah. Hayride, so burning I'm stuff. All about that. He said uh, there is. He said. A couple of the times he's it's been the drunkest he's ever been in his life. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I can't be doing all that, but uh, well, yeah, I was like, oh my god, okay. Like, <laughs> super I told him I was like, I'm super ready to see this. Okay. Like, Have you ever been to like a field party? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. I assume this is an adult version of that. But well, yeah, it's like Yeah. It's like, not you don't it's, have to hide the beer, you know. Right, you're not like worried that your parents are gonna like. Like his oh, parents are there, so juice. it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like okay. legit. His mom and dad will be there, so like, I love that. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, but <clears throat> anyways, anyways, we, we should we should stop we with the this? fucking. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, you said. <laughs> That you were almost at a thousand nine ninety three, yes. And then we talked about tangent, yeah, about the keg and then the, the farm keg party. And the farm party. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we got there. yeah. If you, <laughs> I was gonna say like we could do a party for your. That would be thousand. fun. That would be fun. I am going away to New York in like fifteen days though, so be hard, hard. You're gonna try to do it before then. I could, if you guys want to get down. Don't but... you hate being an adult and like planning shit? Dude, I have so much shit planned. It's ridiculous. It. I hate that shit. I mean, we can hit this shit by Saturday if we, if you guys want to go in. Like, I'm just saying. But see, I already have like it's it's October, so I'm like, I know every day season. is something. 
Exactly. So something. But Saturday during the day, <clears throat> we could make this work. Yeah, Meg's got a tattoo appointment all day, basically. So oh, yeah. I'm just like doing. Ra- I told her I was. I'm gonna be doing random shit all day. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. So cat nap six point two. Yeah, I'm, year round Memphis. I'm made. almost done with it. I mean, I'm I'm working on it. That's really good. It's really good. Shout out to Drew and Andy, um, especially Drew for hooking it all up when we were there. IPAs um, have like really grown on me in the past couple of years. Um, I if you would have given this to me like an IPA or like something that tasted like this to me, like. When I first started drinking beer, I would yeah. have told you to fuck off because that was gross. <laughs> but your your tastes develop, and it's very strange. It like strange. I used to only like ciders, and then I started like branching out to different beers because I was never a beer drinker. Like in high school mm. or like college, I don't I never yeah. liked beer. Mm-hmm. And then now, look at me <clears throat> drinking these IPAs like look an adult. You. So proud of you. Um, Pretty good. I want to show you. So the first time I checked this in, I've checked. I told you guys I've checked it in four times. The first time I checked it in was February second, twenty twenty. And I want to show Ooh. you the original can art because this is not the original can art. Oh, it's not. I like yeah. this can art. It's very clean, classic. I think you're gonna like this one more. Oh, okay. I hope it's a cat nap. It is. Oh fuck! Uh. Oh, I see. Oh, and is it orange? Yeah. Yeah, that's cuter. Why didn't they stick with that? Oh, that's kind of cool. I honestly didn't know this until I was just looking through the past posts. February twenty twenty. That's pretty cool. Before everything changed. Before and at the top, changed. instead of saying "I am Memphis <laughs> made," it says "I am catnap." <laughs> I love that. It's, they should have. I'm gonna tell Drew you should have kept that. Yeah. Um. I okay. I do like this can because it's like a mid-century modern sort of. It is. Vibe, but I like that one better. It's more fun. More fun. I'm a whore <clears> for agree. packaging. So. Me too. Yeah, I'm just. I fucking love packaging. Just laying it out for the packaging. Yeah. Get me in trouble. <laughs> Um, I forget what episode this is. I think it's 15, 16, some shit like that. I think it's 16. Uh, that's insane to me. Year and a half for any beer review, pretty much. I can't right? believe it. I can't believe you made me so consistent. I know. Well, you know, I bully you guys into it. So I, I, I honestly Stoney have to. I'm day. sorry. You know, you were telling Stoney? Yeah. Because Stoney kind of loves me like, flutter right mm-hmm. but i was like no pat just bullies me into it and just like stays on my ass about it because if i if he doesn't then i will like it'll just be <laughs> in just the be, wind <laughs> yeah just be in the wind and you're a consistent show you're you're a heavy hitter on these stats all right so I, th- I feel like we're just a, we're just a good team so it, <laughs> it works out this is true. This is true. I drink the beer. <laughs> you make me drink the beer. I don't... That sounds like a bad, a bad, <laughs> bad influence. But <laughs> you know what? I'll accept. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. You know what? If it's free, it's if it's free. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a limit to how much I'll give a fuck. <laughs> I. And no, I am glad that you've made me consistent. I have to plug in my laptop because I'm about to die here. I also think See, this you've... is this is me. This is my life. I never know what's going on. Love I also love that you've you've experienced so many different kinds since we've been doing this. It re- <clears throat> it has really opened up my taste to a lot of different things, and it's I'm like okay, well I know what I like and I know what I don't like, and I know. Mm-hmm. And it's also opened me up to a lot of different breweries too. Like, oh, if I ever travel to this place, I'll have to mm-hmm. check them out when I'm in town. And right. It's uh I think it's just fun. Yeah, I agree. I mean it's like 
yeah, like you were saying, like um, would have never thought you would have been down for those stouts, but then we went to that stout festival. Yeah, it was like that winter festival, which should be coming up very soon. And oh yeah, because it's uh, December. Yeah, and then uh, that beer from Brooklyn Brewery that I brought back, and we both were like, "What the fuck?" You know, <laughs> so yeah. good. So also, good. I need to go back and see like what was the first beer that uh that I did for the podcast. I have to I'll have to go back and and look at mm-hmm. what that was. But also, I don't ever watch or listen to myself so i'll just have to like yeah just scan it i think we just scan. i think you can look at the posts i think on instagram it'll, it'll say what it is and i wish i was as consistent as <clears throat> like logging my beer on untapped as you are because i would forget every single day that i did i don't know but you're killing it in other shit though you like you're you're on top for the stores like tiktok stuff and i'm like i can't I've... i can't keep up with that shit man I feel like TikTok has uh, been an interesting monster to slay, but for some reason, we try different things, and then, like, last night, we gained, like, 100 followers overnight because we did, like, a packing video. Weird. And it's just, like, what people... It's It's fucking nerds. What people look for. Like, they... And it's, like, I didn't put music over it, so, like, all they were... All they wanted to hear was like the sound of like it being ASMR. <laughs> I guess like it was yeah. very strange. I don't I don't know. It's like we didn't really use a lot of hashtags in the video. I, I don't know. Who's to say? You know, <laughs> I don't know. All yeah. I know is this is a fun show, and if and you like this show, beer. it is a great beer. Thank you, Memphis Made, for this. Um, I wish I had my Memphis made shirt still, but it, it was too small now. It's pretty cool. It's um, it's basically I think just the logo in the front. But <clears throat> anyways, this, is this their logo? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's well, cool. actually, there's a one. There's one. There's one that says like in the in the circle. It says like I am Memphis made. Oh, okay. That's cool. I think that I think I have one with that, but. You definitely need that. I do. I mean, I have one, but it might be in my like to be made into a blanket quilt thing. I have the to be made into a patch pile. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's like we have one. We did that. We had so many concert tees that were like, we made that into one. And that one's like my favorite blanket in the whole house. But like, I think we're going to do one with it's just gonna be a beer one because i have That's so awesome. many fucking brewery shirts <laughs> like, love it. and they sometimes i'm like sometimes they fit weird so i'm like ah, i can't wear this no more you know yeah like too wide for this thing or it fits like funky or it really depends on the style of the shirt and mm-hmm. it's like i don't understand why they make <laughs> women's tees so long <laughs> yeah right it's like what is so up with long. that <laughs> I don't need this tea down to my thigh. This shit doesn't it's isn't weird. like cover your pockets, you know. Like what? Do and you then mean? it's like the 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 sleeves are like Super here. Super short and it's sleeves, not, yeah. And it's like so it's like scrunching up my armpits. Like, yeah, that seems shirt awful. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. And then like you know, the most everybody's just cutting their shit in half these days, anyway. So it's like, oh, why? that's what I do. I don't, I, think, I don't think Megan owns a shirt that's normal size. Like no. it's just like Mm-mm. cut everywhere. Yeah, it's like uh, I'll buy like that Halloween shirt you're wearing or whatever. I feel like mm-hmm. I have that in like an extra large. I can crop that stuff where I wanted it. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. roll up the sleeves, good to go. Correct. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Meg has this one too. But like, yeah. like I was saying, I'm I'm too wide. Like this shit is a is a two X. Yeah. This is how it fits me because my fucking shoulders but are. But then the sleeves are like down. Here. I know, but like, it's like. It's so fu- well, they're normal size. Like, look, they're normal. Oh, okay. So they're kind of. Yeah. It's just like the way I'm sitting it. I'm trying to like yeah. get my fucking wide frame and in, in frame. Like, like bend my shoulders in certain <laughs> ways and shit. They look like they fucking turtle it or whatever. Anyways, we should end this episode.
Um, yeah. Shout out Memphis Made. This is going to... Uh, fuck, what did I rank it? What would you rank it be? 3.5. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what you did? Yeah, I wonder it's if that's what I did every time. Than the no, I put it... I eventually bumped it to a 4. I would, I would keep it 3.5 for me. But this you is know, kind of like... crazy. You were talking about tastes? Mm-hmm. I started at a 3. And I eventually bumped it to a three five and then to a four. Well. Over the years. Over the years. You just liked it more and more. That's really cool though. Mm-hmm. That's uh I mean, I feel like that's them anticipating the flavors and trends of new beers and new beer drinkers. Mm-hmm. But that's exciting. <clears throat> but anyways, shout out to Memphis May, shout out to Andy and Drew. Um, This is Brittany's Brew Review. Check us next month. We out.